Welcome to the vlog. We're going shopping at TJ Maxx. What's up y'all? So I obviously have been MIA again, but I've actually been kind of busy. As you saw, we started in TJ Maxx. I did not do a lot of vlogging because I was just so hot. Oh my God, it was so hot out. And I was like, I, I just can't do this. I can't focus on this many things at once. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop in a good way because right now I'm feeling a little stressed. So I contacted some people about jobs and they seemed really interested in getting me on a freelancing for brands. One wanted to call, one wanted to Zoom. And <laughs> there's a million reasons why somebody might not contact you super quick, right? But I went and purchased a car. Not a, not a brand new car or anything, just a affordable one that was reliable, you know? Um, just a used car it's nothing that special but for now it was perfect good gas mileage it looked clean well taken care of so i did that and i still haven't heard anything back so now i'm like oh my god <laughs> like without those jobs there was no real reason to get the car although we could finally let zach's car stay in the shop and not worry about it so much so hopefully we're picking his car up today tuesday wednesday something like that and then yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting to hear back. So obviously I'm giving them time, but I might just reach out today to the first person and just, you know, check in or whatever. But I don't want to be annoying, but at the same time, you know, you want to be interested. <laughs> so it's just, it's just so funny the way that things work out. Like I, with Zach's car in the shop and not having a vehicle and needing to buy one, it was kind of like, ooh, slow down a little bit. But now I have the car and I'm like, mm, now I need the paycheck. <laughs> so I want to get started. Um, also, I really need my period to start because I'm feeling super low and unmotivated and I need that hormonal shift to go ahead and happen so that I can get back to a normal because all I want to do is just sit on the couch. Like I cried a lot yesterday, a lot of times for absolutely no reason. I have a lot of things to show you that we picked up. I mean, it's not too crazy. I was actually looking for like black pants that I was ultimately going to need because I don't have anything to wear. Wherever, um, wherever I wind up going, I'm probably gonna need black pants. I didn't have any luck there, so I'm gonna have to look somewhere else, but I found some cute stuff too. I found some like non-necessity things and I don't know. Um, I've been in my because I feel like everything's just been kind of like in limbo. Um, you know, making a decision. Zach's car, it's been up and down. He's, it's back at the shop after being in the shop for over a month. Um, they didn't even fix. It went to two shops before we got it back the first time. They didn't even fix all the problems and the dude... Um, the like insurance adjuster is rude as f he's very rude which is so like like why like you know Zach has definitely had to contact them a lot and I know that can get annoying but he's so rude to him um, so yeah hopefully we can pick up his car and be done and not deal with them anymore and just walk away okay good it's over <laughs> um, yeah what else I'm gonna show you my stuff later and I'm gonna try to get in a better mood because I do need to clean the beauty room and maybe film some things today. Um, I'm hoping that there will be no issues. You know, I can do some freelancing and still do what I'm doing at home. That's the goal. Um, that way I have, you know, some more stable income 
and I think it'll be fun too. Like I'm actually looking forward to doing it once I get past my normal anxiousness about everything. Um, like right now I'm anxious because I need to get the tag to my car. <laughs> Like, I get anxious over everything and I wish I wasn't like that, you know, it's so like, it's silly. The anxiousness will never do anything for me, but it's just there. Um, it's like, okay, I have to wait for the title application. So once they call, Zach can pick that up. It's like, okay, what else do I need? And oh my God, my address on my driver's license is still old. So do I need to get my driver's license first before I do that? But wait, I need to get a star on my driver's license and that requires two forms of like identifying your residence and I don't think I have that <laughs> this is where my brain goes and then I'm like oh my god I let my passport expire why did I do that I should have renewed it well that's a whole process so anyway so first things first I need to get uh, my car registered <laughs> it's this is just my mind and the fact that I am like PMSing right now is making it worse. So anyway, that's where my brain is. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna make this little latte. I finally perfected my Nespresso recipes. I think I told you guys that. So I'm using um, Bianco Doppio. I don't know if it's Doppio or Doppio, but um, double espresso. And I been get, I ordered some and they're kind of like the milder, um, espresso like they're not extremely strong because my heart couldn't possibly take it and yeah so I make my latte I'll put in some collagen powder and um, just kind of wake up and yeah decide how I want my day to go I only I actually started re-watching Sex in the City like the entire show um, maybe last week or something and I only have three episodes to go maybe it was the week before but, you know, there's really not all that much to watch. Like, it seems like so much happens, but it's only six seasons. So, I have three episodes left. I may go ahead and finish finish it just so that I can get that out of my head. Although, there's the movies, too. So, and then the new show, which I did start watching, too. <laughs> so, I don't know. I hope you guys are doing well. This is my brain right now. I know I'm rambling. Some of you guys don't mind the rambling. But, to me, it sounds like... <laughs> So, okay, I need to charge these batteries and then I will show you guys a couple things that I ordered that I haven't showed you um, and then what we purchased while we were out shopping on Saturday. Okay, <laughs> I laid this stuff out, just figured it would be easier to show. So I went to random places. I got these two little guys at five below. This one was a rare one, which I had, I've actually never seen that tag before, but it's a macaroon, it's so cute. Um, we got this for Zach, it smells really good. Silver, water, and birch. Found that at Ross. Some Goo Gone, there's all sorts of stickers on my the windshield of my car, so I'm gonna get all the like, residue off it's actually mostly residue I got these they were 40 at Marshall's I actually have a this this is hard to tell but this is actually kind of like slightly off white but I love these I have basically the exact same shoe in like a brilliant white in an eight and a half but I just noticed like it can be just a little bit snug of on like the tip of my toe. So I got a nine in these. I'm hoping they're gonna work. Um, yeah, I love my pink. I got these at TJ Maxx. These are actually dog toys, but they have some other hamsters that we got them before. I think these are hamsters. And we're gonna like spray them with a little catnip spray. I got two mugs. I definitely didn't need mugs, but I'm in a Disney princess mood and this one has Belle, Tiana, Ariel, and Cinderella. And then this one is so me. I've gotten back into reading lately. I'm in a reading mood and it's Belle. It says, sorry, I'm fully booked. This is a big mug. It was like six bucks, but it's a big old mug. And let's see, I didn't spread this little thing out. I got this at Ross. It's a little long sleeve cardigan. I just thought this was so, so cute and girly, cute for layering. It was 14. Also at Ross, I took the tags off. I actually washed these shirts. So these were $6.99 and then one was $8.99. But I got this. This was just so like 90s, this little tank. I love 
screen and ghost face and I just thought this was so funny. This was $6.99. I can't remember which one was $8.99. It was either this Hello Kitty one or the tank. Um, probably the Hello Kitty one. But yeah, just a tea. Nothing crazy. It's got little little Hello Kitty boba on the back. I thought this was so cute. I'm gonna have to, oh, I can't stand that. I'm gonna have to change this hanger. I cannot deal with that. We're gonna do like that for a moment. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got those. What else? I got this set at TJ Maxx. This is adorable. It's kind of hard to tell, but this is like a purple with a hint of pink. It says juicy on the butt of the shorts and on the front, but this is so soft. It was only $12.99 and just for something cute around the house, I thought it was perfect. These, make sure if you're looking at hair clips at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, because they do have a lot of cute ones, check the clearance because these were clearance $6, but regularly like eight or nine. And they had, there were the exact same ones, perfect shape, no difference, but they are butterflies. I thought that was really, really cute. So three clips. We got this was $8. We're gonna put this uh, under their fountain. Their fountain over there, they love to slosh water out, which these floors are not bad, but still better to have something. These impress nails, um, really like soft hint of pink. And these were only $4.99. I got this cute little headband for skincare with the little dinosaur. This was $3.99. And then Zach spotted this little notebook. I love to write things down, so this is perfect. And it was $4.99. What else? I think that's pretty much it. We did get some syrups. We got this one at Ross. These are getting harder and harder to find. So I think I'm going to have to like order them on their website instead because all they really have right now is Tarani. And we tried the sugar-free caramel. I'm not a fan. Don't like that. I would probably like the regular ones, but I'm trying to use low-calorie stuff. This is good, though. I've been using this, and these are the espresso pods I've been using. The double espresso, I really like the ice. And then Volteso, and then Orafio, just depending on how strong. The Orafio is a little bit stronger, but it's, I mean, yeah, these are really good. And then hazelnut and vanilla caramel cream and the regular size from TJ Maxx. That's literally all they have. This was bad. I definitely should not have done this and I should have just gotten this one, but Zach was being a bad influence. <laughs> um, so I haven't splurged on Starbucks cups in a while. The last cup I got, well, Zach did get me some, dang, he did get me some like a month month or two months ago but I recently got this one maybe like maybe a month ago that's the only one I got but I saw these I had to have this one this is bad but it's so me <laughs> so I got that one this was like a must-have Zach thought this one was really fun and it is I mean it is super super fun I would have chosen maybe pink instead of purple for the lid but you know it's still really fun summery bright and then we went to Target and I saw this one the, these studded ones are ridiculously expensive for what you get like this small one was 25 bucks are you freaking kidding me um but yeah like I promised myself what I was going to do is just like pick one. I would have just picked this one. I probably wouldn't have gotten that one except for his influence. And then I did love this one. And I've been trying to get some smaller ones lately because I have the majority of them are big. And I do like these sizes sometimes. This is, I feel guilt about spending this <laughs> when I just bought a car. But, you know, it is what it is. It was a little uh, treat and... I'll, the next time I'm going to look for a Starbucks cup is like when the Halloween ones come out and I'm going to try to be really, really picky and like if there's one I love, then get the one and that's it. So anyway, I got those. I'm thinking about doing um, makeup looks inspired by these cups because I did that once before and it was fun and somebody suggested recently that I do it again. So we'll see. Maybe. What's up y'all? So I thought I would vlog for a minute when I have my makeup on because how often do I do that? But I thought I would show y'all a couple packages. Zach is on the way home. Um, so while I have a couple minutes of not doing anything, I just thought I would show you. I got these two YSL new halo tint highlighters. These are just the boxes. I filmed something for Instagram and for TikTok using these. It is really gorgeous. That's the highlight I have on. 
you could definitely do like a very natural glow or you could build this up. I'm not normally a big liquid highlight person, but this is gorgeous. I got Benna Tint, Flora Tint, and Cha Cha Tint. I need to go through what I have of these because if I have a lot of extras, I will, you know, just put these to give to somebody or something like that. I don't know, did I show you all this? I feel like I might have shown you, but I got Moroccan oil, the original scent, shower gel, and hand soap, but that's how it came. It like, the top came unscrewed in the package. It was just in a, like a bubble mailer type thing, which was just really not efficient for these, but they came from Skeepers. So if you order from Moroccan oil, I'm sure it would be nicer, but they just kind of throw stuff in there, so. Yeah, it's like 20% of that just gone. I also got a package from Youth to the People. So they sent a mini of the Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Cleanser. Love this. I have a full size, I do believe. And then they also sent the Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. But I really like it. Oh, and I got a different package just a couple days ago of their Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. This is just the reformulation of this. So it has um, like a nicer texture. I think I saw people saying that it's lighter, but it feels more hydrating. Um, it had a weird texture to me. So I'm really glad that they reformulated because it was nice. But I just thought the texture was a bit odd. I also got some things from Maylie's. I have never tried any of their stuff. So I got B Glossy, which is a smoothing body serum. B Flat, which is a firming belly cream. They asked me to pick from some of their products. And I was like, you know what, with me losing this weight, like my skin might need a little bit of tightening and so we'll see how this works. Um, and then I got the B Foxy Inner Thigh Firming Cream. I haven't tried these yet, brand new. Um, they already emailed were like, how do you like them? Do other people just try things immediately? My ass has to like let it be new for a minute. <laughs> I also got the Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Skin Tint. I got shade Fair 2. I need to try that. I might try this tomorrow. And then I also got a couple things from Clarins from Skeepers. Multi-active moisturizer. I was looking for the like the English because <laughs> I think it's in French but it's for fine lines and it's an antioxidant day cream and then also got their self tan concentrate. So you mix this into your moisturizer. So I need to plan sometime really soon in the next few days to do I'll do a body tan and then use that for face. And I also got a little package from Dermalogica. Oh, I also got this at TJ Maxx yesterday. Was it yesterday? No, it was the day before. We went and got Zach's car and I was looking for that pink ghost blanket at TJ Maxx that I've seen at Marshalls and Home Goods on TikTok. But anyway, we ran in there. I was like, I don't need to buy anything right now. But this was 10 bucks, and I had seen it the other day, but they didn't have my size. So I was like, okay, I'll get that. We're on a no-buy now. But I got the Dermalogica Liquid Peel Foliant. So this is their new product, and it's got AHA, BHAs, and PHAs, and fruit enzymes, and 5% phytic and tranexamic acids. I'm really excited for this because I think that's good for dark spots three minutes a day massage evenly on dry clean skin leave on for one to three minutes and then rinse okay begin by using every other day even skin tone and minimize pores oh i need that <laughs> so i also just recently got the pmd device that's like the little spatula thing i i actually am like shocked the first time I used it, I was like, oh my god, I think this is actually working. But I wanted to like try it a couple times. Um, also got an email, you know, how do you like it? Did you post about it? I'm like, I'm I'm not one to like post things like immediately when I get them because I want to use them and see how it goes. So yeah, I do I'm I, I think it's really working. <laughs> but um yeah, oh, I got one more. And I also got a package from Skin Proud, which I just got this today. Their Jelly Bright Essence, which is a moisture boosting essence. Their Detox Tonic, that is 5% lactic and glycolic acid. Also, this I've used, and I like the Sorbet Skin, which is their everyday jelly moisturizer. You can get Skin Proud at Walmart. And from what I've tried, I've actually really liked it. So if you want to try some like really affordable skincare, then I would say give Skin Proud a try. I haven't tried everything, but I've tried three, four, five products maybe, and I've enjoyed everything so far. So I hope you guys are doing good, and I might do some vlogging tomorrow. So yeah, anyway.
but what's up y'all so i got my tag i have an interview wednesday it's monday right now so i you know what things are looking up i am trying to be positive so after i got my tag i was like you know what i really want to go do something and zach said well why don't you meet me um to get groceries and I would have like time to spare so I'm at Marshalls slash Home Goods and I'm gonna look for just like anything but black pants and also that ghost blanket that everybody keeps posting about um I look a little rough I really wasn't planning to go anywhere else but once I got my tag on I was like you know what I want to go do something <laughs> so I stopped and got a pink drink I'm definitely taking this inside it is so hot I got to this like old courthouse in the middle of nowhere and they only let in one person at a time and there's like no indoor area to wait so I was just like standing outside but luckily one of the people in there like came in and out and helped me get it otherwise I was just gonna be standing out in the heat it is so hot it says it's 95 degrees in my car so or you know my car says it's 95 degrees so anyway, I'm gonna um, try to do a little bit of vlogging in here. I've got about an hour and a half before Zach will be in the area where I am where we can go get groceries. So also there's five below here. So I might see if they have the Halloween um, little bitty squishmallows just for fun. Okay, let's go. Okay, I love these chairs. I wish I felt like my house was cute enough to put them in there. So cute. They have some spooky stuff, but I didn't see the blanket. Okay, look at this acrylic clothes rack. Holy crap. Okay, these are really cute. I just don't want to pay 13 for four plates. I mean, it's not bad. I just, you know, they're just cutie. I think I have to get this for the chili pepper. Do I really need a hot pink milk crate? Probably not. Let's go! Um, today is Thursday. I really should have gotten up and started filming, but I don't know. I'm just kind of listening to what my body is saying and it's saying I don't feel like doing shit. <laughs> so I thought I would show you just a couple quick packages and then I am going to edit this vlog. I don't think I'm really going to finish it. I actually might edit um, something for Instagram and TikTok first and then just start editing this for tomorrow. Um, my aunt is in town who I only see like once or twice a year and they're coming over tomorrow afternoon So I don't know what I'm gonna be able to motivate myself to do yesterday Wednesday I had my interview it was for a freelance position and So I'll be spending a little time every well, maybe not every week, but it's just gonna be like a, a very varied and flexible schedule so I'm gonna be doing some freelancing mostly inside Ulta's which is fun I think it's gonna be like the right opportunity for me to you know earn a little bit of a stable income but then also have time to still create content and hopefully I can get out of this like funky mood I'm in I just like every day really last week too but especially this week every day I just wake up and feel like I just don't want to do anything and hopefully you know getting out of the house and all that will motivate me a little bit more I know it sounds crazy to think that you need to do work in order to feel motivated to do other things but I don't know sometimes sometimes so I got a couple things I got the drunk elephant be goldie bright drops I got these from skeepers so these are like glow drops let's see I haven't I clearly I haven't opened this or anything Ooh, that looks pretty I don't really have I don't have much left on my fingers but anyway I'm excited to try that I don't know I think I showed y'all I think I showed y'all the tints from benefit I really am late 
I, like everything is like this month. I'm still just now. It's the 20 freaking seventh. I haven't um, done my Etsy videos. I filmed one. I need to edit that. But I had to order this. I know that She Glam gets some, you know, stuff, and I know how people feel about the Harry Potter franchise. I love Harry Potter so much. So she Glam did this Harry Potter collection, and I wanted to buy it all, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna compromise. I'm not gonna support. <laughs> <laughs> the whole way but I had to have this it's the potions it says bewitching bruise lip gloss set these are so adorable like this was $20 I think but let me just pull out this is poly juice potion I think they did such a phenomenal job with like the packaging little potion bottles I actually kind of want to remove the tassels is that weird I don't know I feel like it would it would take away from it a little bit but it would also simplify it but yeah these are beautiful Felix Felicis and then this is Polyjuice Potion and then uh Immortentia and then the Draft of Living Death I think these are so adorable I also got from Skeepers the new Dr. Dennis Rose Lipwear Pro which is the light for your lips so this is supposed to help with the color of your lips fine lines in your lips and around your lips um the plumpness of your lips over time like if you use it consistently i need to start using my face wear pro more consistently because like i do feel like it works and i did use it consistently for quite a while but then when i start to feel like depressed i, I really fall off i stop doing everything and last package i just got this one today i got a package from maybelline and i was like why is it so heavy here's my color range <laughs> they sent the um super stay 24 hour skin tint with vitamin c and yeah that's what it says i will say though this looks pearly and i'm wondering if this might be a dupe for the is it the mario foundation that's got that little bit of a like a mica type glow to it the next three shades but look you see the glow two more shades look at that rich color so i mean that's a pretty deep color for a skin tint here's the next to last um for comparison so they sent 10 shades so this is 102 it's probably going to be a little too pale right now and then i have 118 this is 120 but that's probably gonna be a little bit dark so we're gonna see i can always mix them i'm sorry it's been so long between videos i just kind of have been feeling very down and not like super deeply depressed but just like mm. And I feel like I'm getting out of it. I feel like things are, you know, less stress is, is happening. This breakout I had. Um, I'm getting back into my skincare routine. And I don't know, maybe I can film some tomorrow morning before we have company. But I don't know. I may just wait. And I should be getting, like, paperwork. The earliest I might be doing anything is next week. But it may even be later than that. Because, of course, summer is slower for shopping. So... Yeah, I'm also really, really sad that I don't think I can try to go to Sephora in New York in September, but oh my god, I want to so bad because the first one looked so fun. It looked like different than a lot of like, like IMATS was uh, like fun, but it was a little disappointing. Like unless you went to specific shows or like demonstrations or you were part of like the contest, then all there really was was shopping and yeah i mean you can watch stuff but and i never went to it wasn't beauty con what was it called there used to be a bag i used to get it i can't think of it but sephoria seems really fun lots of photo opportunities so last night i ordered the virtual key swag bag so if you don't know you have to go now because i think it's limited supply but you can spend i think I think it was $80 after tax and all and this was really a treat for me because I've not been buying a lot of makeup but it is basically like you can virtually attend the event but this is a swag bag and it's like $69 I think with tax and shipping for me it made it $80 and it's like $300 worth of product so I was like you know what it would cost me so much more to go I feel like that's you know I still want to go if I had the opportunity, I'd still go, even though that bag is coming this way. And so basically they'll ship it out closer to the event and I'll definitely show you guys what comes in it, see if it was worth um, buying that. Watch it be just a lot of like random products that I already have. 
you know, like all the all the best sellers that I probably have, but we'll see, who knows. So anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Oh my God, I've been talking for 10 minutes again. I definitely did not intend to be gone this long, but I said that last time, didn't I? So anyway, hope you guys are doing great and I will see you in the next video. Bye.